Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to review the iPhone 16 Pro versus the iPhone 10, which was released back in 2017. As you know, the iPhone 16 Pro just recently came out. We did an unboxing if you want to check that out. Now, if you think about upgrading to it, whether you have the iPhone 10 or just want to know all the main differences, we're going to discuss in this video. So let's get started. So here I have both of the devices, as I mentioned in my hand. Is the new 16 Pro here? If you don't want to check out the detail unboxing, go ahead and check it out. This is the black titanium one right here, as you can see here. And then up on my other hand, it's going to be the iPhone 10 here, that classic design when Apple decided to go all full screen with their phone here. Now, you might be looking to compare between these two devices, and a lot has changed because it's been over seven years since the iPhone 10 was released and the iPhone 16 has been. And now it's quite surprising like the iPhone has made it this way, but it has. Now, right off the top here, it's going to be biggest difference is the screen size. The iPhone 16 Pro comes with a 6.3 inch display. You have only 5.8 on the iPhone 10 here. And then, of course, that top notch versus the dynamic island on the newer iPhone is going to be pretty evident. And the bezel on the between these devices, you can see here, thicker versus a thinner one on the 16 Pro. Now, look, turning to the back is going to be other difference in terms of the body here. The iPhone 16 Pro is made out of titanium versus stainless steel on your iPhone 10 here. And then you also see that rounded edge design, which I really like. Not sure why Apple went to the flat one, but that's where Apple's at it. And of course, other noticeable difference between them, it's going to be the cameras. On the 16 Pro comes with triple camera, two of them are 48 megapixel. And then the telephoto one on the iPhone 10 only comes with a dual 12 megapixel camera. So a big improvement of camera, which is no surprising from Apple. Now, if we take a look at other things right across the file, is you have this new action button versus the old ringer silent button on the iPhone 10 here. And then on the other side here, you notice this new button, which is the action button, which allows you to activate camera or open other apps and take photos, videos, and much more with this. So a lot more going on there. With iPhone 10, just has that SIM, physical SIM uh, slot here, which for some people that still is a big point, selling point for the iPhone 10, just having that physical SIM. On the iPhone 16 Pro, if you have the US version of it, you only can use eSIM. That's the only way to connect. And finally, the charging port has changed. Lightning on the iPhone 10 versus the USB-C, which is the new standard for the iPhone charging. And let's go ahead and discuss other things which is going to be the chipset on this. The iPhone 16 Pro comes with A18 Pro chip with 8 gigs of RAM versus the iPhone 10. here. You're only getting that A11 Bionic with 3 gigs of RAM, almost triple the amount of RAM, which just means the iPhone 16 Pro is fast compared to the iPhone 10. How fast? Up to 80% faster in some cases when it comes to computing, multitasking, and much more. Now, another big area is you're probably going to be wondering, it's the battery life between these devices. What you're looking at is another big jump in terms of the battery life. The iPhone 10 here only comes with 13 hours of video playback versus 27 on the iPhone 16 Pro, almost double the amount. And that's just improvement in the battery life of it. Now, other thing missing from the iPhone 10 that's available on the 16 Pro, things like wireless charging, you don't have 5G on the iPhone 10 R, so if you're looking for 5G, you need to go with the iPhone 12 or newer. And of course, the other big limitation is the storage. The iPhone 10 R comes only in 64 gig and 256 gig, where the iPhone 16 Pro starts with 128 gig, goes up to 256 gig, 512 gig, and one terabyte, which is the most you can get on any iPhone. And of course, the price also increased with that storage upgrades. Now, the big thing is going to be the camera, as I mentioned, just big improvements in camera between these devices. Things like spatial mode is not available and cinematic mode, which are not available just right off the bat in terms of your camera feature. Both phones still take really a good, again, on the iPhone 10, really good photos and videos, but doesn't compare with the iPhone 16's camera capability. And of course, the last thing we'll probably want to think about is the software between these two devices. What are you looking at in terms of the software? Well, the iPhone uh, 16 Pro comes with iOS 18, which is the latest version of it. It has features like crash detection, being ability to connect uh, to a satellite and do things like messaging, roadside assistant, and much more, and all of these new features that are available in Apple Intelligent. Unfortunately, the iPhone 10R doesn't even update to iOS 
17, so it doesn't get iOS 18, still stuck on iOS 16, which means the phone is pretty much at its almost at its end. It still gets security updates from Apple time to time, but you're looking at a phone that doesn't get anywhere soft major software update, which means it's time to upgrade. And that's also the limitation of it. So you're missing out on a lot of features. You can only update to the security updates to prevent certain things, but that's about it. And does is it worth upgrading from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 16 Pro? In terms of all the features, as I mentioned, the camera upgrades, the performance upgrade, the battery upgrade, and just everything in general, you, it's kind of hard to find the iPhone 10 unless you're buying it secondhand. So if you think about upgrading it to it, it's probably a good time to upgrade since this phone, again, is out of date in terms of software update. But again, don't discount the iPhone uh, 10, 10 Plus if you're still needing it for the basic calling, texting, browsing. So most of the apps are still functional. So a good device to have as a backup or even if you just want to ride it out for another year definitely not a bad choice either to keep around so that's our review of these phones i want to hear from you guys what's your thought if you upgraded from the iphone 10 to the iphone 16 pro if you use these devices leave a comment in the comment section we'd love to hear from you and thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this kind of review and much more do hit that like and subscribe button we'll see you guys next time